Well, hell, here are more space engineers. Yay. And we've gotten quite a bit of stuff done um, that we're going to have to undo and make some changes on. <laughs> First, we have to get started. So let's go. So happy Friday everybody. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and had a terrific week. Uh, for those folks that are still in quarantine, hopefully you've been able to stay safe along with uh, your friends, families, and loved ones. And <clears throat> for the U.S., starting Monday, at least for the Bay Area, they're going to start, well, um, they've extended our lockdown. Well, I shouldn't say lockdown, it's not actually a lockdown. They've got our shelter in place going until uh, beginning of June. Basically, um, we're going to be in the self-isolation thing for another month. But over the course of the month, they're going to be reducing or uh, lightening up the restrictions on businesses. So hopefully we'll be able to do something like, I don't know, <laughs> actually go get something to eat that isn't, you know, drive through fast food. Um, obviously we won't be able to sit down and enjoy it, but you know, hopefully more of the restaurants will be open for, uh, for the takeout. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So what have I been doing? Um, did a little bit of work up front on this thing. So we've gone ahead and mirrored some of the process or some of the armor that we had up here. So if you remember, a couple of days ago we did this where we had these little arches that we added and some detail work we've gone ahead and mirrored that on this side actually let me make sure I, yeah okay i do have still still do still have some steel plates <laughs> and so i was thinking about the uh the nacelles if you remember the last time we were together i was saying i was thinking about either moving these forward or moving them back um, and maybe making them longer. And I think what we're going to do is actually go ahead, take all, take all of this out all the way back and move them up. So I did a count. And if we, if we move all of this all the way up here, there's enough room on the length of this side to uh, have this entire segment. Um, so what we'll end up with is something, <clears throat> excuse me, is something that'll give us the oblong, um, ovoid shape that I was talking about and hopefully keep the proportions a little bit more on point for what we're looking for. Now we are going to still have because of the fact that there's um actually eight refineries on each one of these nacelles we'll still need to put in assemblers and i'm thinking the assemblers we're actually going to place up here uh what we can do is we can run assemblers in between in betwixt even all of these cargo blocks so that gives us cargo and like um, refined material processing and component processing in with our storage and still have the ability to have refiners running as well. Now, the ship itself, because we're going to be adding these nacelle areas in, opens up the uh, potential of having the area come back a little bit and then what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to put in the hangar space that we were talking about but I, I'm not sure if we're going to do side access hangers um, aft access for the hangar or what I'm thinking side access and then what we'll do is um, once we move all of this forward we'll be able to sculpt the uh, back area here a little bit and that's where we'll we'll put in like um, 
probably are engineering and habit and then have habitation between the nest cells and engineering or nestled under the engineering section. Right. So I think that's what we're going to do. Now, one of the things that I did is, so let's see, it is here. So our spacing is going to put us here. Uh, let's go th three, maybe. Uh, let's see if we do. Damn, you auto rotate, I swear. So if we do that, that gives us one space in between. Actually, that'll give us several spaces in between the wall here and the fuel tanks. And then I think for these, we're basically just going to run these straight down. So the question is going to be is, do I want to do those let's see here and then we have one two three because I actually like the way that this that that design came out um, no that's gotta go forward come on thank you I would actually leave those um, recessed normally, but because of the fact that we're using hydrogen tanks in the middle here, because basically there's going to be a hydrogen tank there, hydrogen tank there, and then we're going to have another tank on the top and yet another one on the bottom. All right. Okay. And so part of the reason for this is that if we want to do something where we encase it like let's say we want to run oh uh, uh what we're we doing on the other side we're talking about that okay so if we run if we start with that angle let's say we do something like that uh, we run this out, say, two or three. Bring that down one. Actually, no. We're going to have this come all the way over. Come here, you. Gallop my way. Okay, and then we say that. And this, again, it's just being used as an example. It's not necessarily what we're going to end up doing. But just to give you an idea of what we might do. Uh, so if we do that. Let me check this really quick. So we need it to go out one more, and then we could have it do something like this. Maybe. And then obviously this stuff would be cut around and so that basically the upper uh, portion of the cowling here would fold down over everything um, and then we basically have to wrap all this together so some of this would probably come out like maybe two blocks of this will come out and we'll start blending that back and through and then that'll give us the cowling that we can put around the uh, engine 
and you have the nacelle basically run back this way. Alright, so let me take... Let's get some of this stuff out of here. Too worried about if things hit the ground because we're gonna capture all the sink in anyway. And basically we're just gonna be moving this whole thing up forward. Now I do need to remember that the center one is going to go back an extra block. Second, all of this works in our favor here. Just a bit more. And here's where everything just falls down. take this stuff out here and we'll leave that that kind of stuff we'll leave right now we'll probably end up taking that out later uh, let's see here Yes, yes, I know. And uh, tonight we are going to try to keep everyone from uh, obtaining the alcohol poisoning status. <laughs> we'll see how well that works out. I mean, if I really want to, I would go. I would probably go ahead and. Uh, head back and get charged really quick, but, uh, you know. We've got a bit of time, right? Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me grab some power really quick. And we're going to take a look and see, you know, what does that do for the overall profile? Um, but I do think that this is what we're going to probably end up with is something like this. But I'm not sure yet. That's enough power for now. We okay. Yeah, I think I like that line a little bit better than what we we had before. Um, it is kind of a compact build, and I don't know if I actually want to keep it that way. I mean, the idea is that it could be basically a station. And I could move the nacelle out a couple of blocks. Hell, I could move it all. I could actually make it a complete outrigger style system where it's out like, say, 10 blocks off of the the ship. Because hmm. what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to visualize what it is I, I want it to look like. And from the front. The line doesn't look too bad. I mean, we could even go really cheesy. Let's uh, let's get some more of these tanks in here. And I'll show you what I'm talking, what I'm thinking here. Let 
Come on. Space engineers, you are really pissing me off lately with this whole block collision. Okay. And then for the folks who aren't following Keen Software on their, uh, either on their Discord or their Twitter or website, they dropped a hint on Thursday, um, late Wednesday, early Thursday. Uh, well, I should say a teaser for a new block. Well, it's for an old block, but it's a new block, a new representation of an old block. So the button panels, Looks like they're getting LCDs added to the, the to the button face, and there's a small, like just a very small, cleaning up of the art for the buttons. Um, I'm trying to think if I have a button panel around here somewhere. Oh, I do. I actually have some button panels. We put some button panels up here before I forget. <laughs> All right. So basically, the the entire panel is getting a rework to fit more in line with um, the current art style that you've been seeing for the last couple of updates in the DLC packs that they've delivered. And so what will happen is, is that each of these buttons, instead of having the, the static image here that will light up, they, there's going to be basically, a, like a, for lack of a better term, a, a touch panel looking LCD on each of these. And they are each individually configurable. And the teaser that they showed had um, text on one, graphics on another, and then like placeholder information. Like the, um, it's the same as the LCDs panels you get on, uh, what is it? The, I want to say the med station. Go over here really quick. It's that circular pattern. Oh. One second. I'm gonna check this out. We'll make sure. Yeah. So it's basically something that looks like that. Um, it might even be. Actually, do we have the programmable blocks in here? Yeah. So I think it's basically using like one half of this image. Um, so we'll see what it looks like when they actually get it. And I don't have any information on when uh, that may be coming to the to the. Uh, to the system but and they're they didn't make any official announcements on uh, compatibility for the the xbox version so unfortunately i don't have that information either but it is something to look forward to keen has said before that they're going to try and make as much of the dlc available for the console players and i can't really think of a reason why that wouldn't be able to go to the console um because it's just another lcd panel or a combination LCD panel. So we'll just have to see and or just have to wait and see what they're actually able to pull off with it. Alright. So what I'm thinking here is we end up with something. Let's see, that should be about the middle, yes? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's the middle. Okay. And let's go. Like so. And I don't know if this is going to work the way I want it to. I mean, it should, but then again, lots of things should do what I want, but they don't always. So we end up with something, a little something sort of like that, maybe. And do I have conveyors? No. I'm going to take the rifle off the menu we've not been using it for a while 
I need tear plates. Ah! <laughs> that was almost entertaining for all the wrong reasons. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and grab some interior plates. I think a hundred of them should be fine. I've got to make a few dozen of them, right? Okay, so we'll do that. And that. Like I said, we're going to probably end up with a fairly significant amount of conveyor tubes or uh, conveyor junctions tying this whole thing together. Um, I'm still really tempted to just go ahead and take all of these blocks out and do just a wall of conveyor junctions here. Or maybe do tubes in between each of these. Actually, let me go in here. Ow. Go in here really quick. We're looking for this one? Yeah. Do, do, do. There we go. Um. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? I still have to do the, the programming for that stuff. Uh. Then we do that. Okay. And then from here... So what I'm thinking is, is that for each of these... We'll do something like this. Because at the end of each line, you know, we have the conveyors in between. And so what I'm thinking is, is we just run the tubes horizontally. Um, and then that will keep everything connected. We don't have to do an extra thick wall of conveyors or everything here. So let's go ahead. Let's see what this looks like. Because I don't know if I want to do these horizontal or vertical. So if we do these horizontally, what is that? how does that look? Because if I do them vertically, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's take a couple more of these out. I had to stop and make sure these are actually connected to something. It's like, yes, they are. Okay. okay. I am actually kind of liking that. If we do, if we have something like that, that allows us to have say something like this. Let's go. So if we actually did do something like this, right? We could have something in, basically have this. Hmm. If 
we went Let's see if we did this instead That looks like. Yeah, I think I like that. Because then what we can do here is we have, say, some of it comes down. Like so. And then that's on both sides. Plates to actually try this whole thing out here. How many plates do I have left? I've got 90 plates. And see what I'm thinking here is that for this section under here, oh, we did. That maybe? That could be something. So we do that. How many in is this one? In from the edge. So we would do here and then. There. Let's go grab a few plates. Check this out. See what we th see what we think about it. No plates. Need access to the inventory. Energy low. <laughs> there you go. See, I told you, I'm going to try and keep us from all dying from alcohol poisoning of any type, right? So we're just going to go ahead and get this thing charged up. There we go. Head over here for a second. And what I was kind of thinking, let's go ahead and drop this stuff off here. Just trying to get an idea, you know, basically trying to come up with something. That gives us, you know, just something a little bit different. That's going to be three. We're gonna do the same on this side. And then need to figure out a way to basically wrap the skin for this. Um, I may need to bring this whole thing up one so that we can actually get a sealed layer in here. Um, no, 
not that I'm overly concerned with it. Because, I mean, we always have the option of doing something like... I know that there is a reverse of that block. Yeah, okay. That's right. Put that in there. And so that opens up, actually, you guys. All right. well, just to show you what I'm thinking here, because this doesn't have to be airtight, so I'm not too worried about it if it is or not. up with could be something like this in here. Alright, so we end up with these, uh, so maybe have caps on these. So basically we, were, we would repeat what we built there. Um, this portion Repeat on this side. So you end up with something like this. Let's get these in here really quick. Right, and then. Cap there, cap there. So we end up with something like this. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to come out. So we're gonna weld these up really quick. Take a look. And I mean, we could even, if we were really wanting to, we could actually just run these all the way down on one side. Kind of curious to see what this is going to look like. Oh, I kind of like that actually. So if we spin you guys, come here. <laughs> I think I like that a lot. Now the other option is is that if we want it 
to uh, make these things a little bit different. We could do something like this. So maybe have them Take you out, take you out. Whoops. Uh, there. <laughs> yeah. So if we did that, and that, mm, I'm not liking this portion of it. I would really like a block that would fill that in. So yeah, I think what we're going to end up with is this. Basically just running down the length. Oh, crap. Let's try that again. Um, but yeah, basically using something like that running down the length. Because I kind of like the way this looks. But I want the tank to be more square if I'm going to use this. I think our best bet is to just really hide that area there. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. And then basically we'll repeat that that same kind of build or that same kind of style. On uh, these guys as well. That one will be a little bit different. That one's going to be up front. Okay. I'm just going to say, give me back my plates. These tanks are going to take up. All of my plates. I'm gonna have to make a bunch of plates. Energy low. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, if we do the same here, how are we gonna bridge this? I mean, I guess I could just ignore it. Hmm. No, that won't work the way I want it to. That's the exact opposite of what I want. <laughs> yeah, see? Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But I do kind of like the way that that design comes out. Or that, that feeling of that comes out on this. So let's get rid of you, you, and then there's the question of how we get 
those together. I mean, I could actually just leave this here. And maybe do windows here? That could be interesting. Like if we did a window there and a window there. Energy critical. That would give us kind of a peek into it. Hell, I could even run uh, sloped windows all the way down this. Hmm. Man, we need... We need blocks that can make this... What if I did something like this? To there? No, I don't like that. I mean, I might be able to get away with it with... Um, Something like that, maybe? We did something like this. And then... No energy. That crap. Yeah, yeah, I know. See, I... Oh. <sighs> we tried. <laughs> hey, we did try at least, right? Oh. Alright. Just a little bit of power, just to get us going. Hey, there go. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this portion. Because if we, I mean, we could go just straight up. I mean, is it one, two, three? It's one, two, three. So it'd be something like that. Come on. like so All right, let's weld this up and see what this looks like I think I do actually like that. The question is, is do I want to use, say something like this, so we would, just as a placeholder there. Oh, I think I like that. That's nice and chunky. Very chunky. I think I like that. So basically what we'll end up with is one of these up front, one of these aft, and then probably one here in the middle-ish. With the difference for the one in the middle, we're actually going to have piping on. So we do something like that for the one in the middle. 
So this one is actually chunkier than those, but it'll have the same general feel to it. So if we do... Oh, do we want to do that? I don't think we do. I think we want to go... Like so. Oh. Like so, right? I did that the exact opposite direction I wanted it. Okay, so if we do this, let's see what this looks like. And then we do let's go like this maybe. Here we'll have, say, maybe a thruster. Let's go multiple, let's go variable size. We're going to do just the small thruster. Tanks keep eating all my uh, steel plates. Okay. Just grab a couple more of these. Alright, so I think grab a thousand. I think we may have a design idea here. Let's see. And then what I'll do is for the the blocks back here, uh, maybe something like this. Let's see how that looks. Energy low. If we do that, I know I'm pushing my lock, right? So we have something like this. curious what do you look like if we do that and from there And so what we do here is we basically um, I would I'd love to have a thin version of this. Could you imagine if we had one that was like half thickness on that? Oh, that would be so nice. I guess we can just 
do something like this. And what we'll have is we'll uh, put windows in here, like the, the old plate windows, and mount a light back here to, to illuminate all of that. And yes, I'm going to go down here so that for the folks who are playing the drinking game. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to try and keep your... Uh, your liver's alive here. So what I'm thinking is, is that we put a light behind it. Um, let's see here. And just because it's faster. Uh, give me a couple of those. We're going to slide ourselves down in here. Uh, nope. I couldn't remember if I'd be able to get through there or not. But what I'm thinking is, is that we'll put a, uh, a light in here. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's just grab that. All right. So we could put it. Can I really not put it in there? Really? I can place a corner light. If I can place a corner light, I should be able to place an interior light. Okay, that's just... That is so wrong. See... So, Keen, if you're, if you're watching this, can you do me a favor? Can you make these consistent, please? Because if I can mount... See, I can't mount there, but I can mount there. If I can mount a, a, a single like that, I should be able to mount the double in the same way. Ah, that is really frustrating. All right. Because I can't mount that there, I can't mount that there, but I can... Alright, so I guess what we would have to do... Ah... <sighs> So I can mount the rotating light there. I can spotlight there. I can't mount an interior light there. That is just so inconsistent. Oh my god. It's going to drive me nuts. Alright, so what I'm going to end up having to do is place a corner lamp here. Uh, before we do that... Uh, I'm trying to think of where's my closest control panel. <laughs> All right, you are the starboard. The cell light. That, that, we're actually going to increase intensity. And I may offset that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But there's a very real chance that I'm going to offset that light. And see. And what that'll do is you'll be able to see the pipe work in there. And then you have the other one, which is what we were talking about back here. Again, just to give you an idea. So, yes, that's actually going to be. that 
and then again it will go up and over up it'll go up into the uh, top work of like what we have here um, and then we'll repeat that on this side and on the bottom and then we'll have basically a, a duplication of this particular piece down on the bottom as well and that'll hold the the whole thing to the ship and then once we have that in we can take this piece out actually I mean I guess technically we can take that out now huh so if we go this stuff off that'll clean up the lines quite a bit Making sure everything is actually connected in there. Okay. All right, and then if we do, come here. So if we do that, and that. This one is up really quick. And like we said, we're getting rid of those. This is actually going to go. Ah, uh, see now here's the question. Is do we want to keep that? Like that. I'm almost tempted to say yes. And if we do that, let's see what that looks like. Low. All right, I want to get the last couple in here if we can, hopefully before everything um, falls apart and I run out of, I completely run out of power. So you get, you are there. And what we can do is we can actually come back and replace those with the uh, thrusters. Yeah, I think I like the way that's coming together. And like I said, this will end up being effectively three blocks of strength here, tying this whole thing together. There will be a second one down below on the, uh, the underside of this nacelle, doing basically the same thing. And you are all together, so we should be able to... Take that out. What's that going to look like from the front? Oh, yeah. I think that's going to be good. I think that's going to be really good. The only thing that we might do is, I, like I said, I may actually move that out further. Um, and what I'm thinking, let's see how much power we got, I got enough, is the, uh, the back portion of this will actually carry back into what will be the rest of the hull. So it'll be kind of like a, uh, when you're looking down at it, it'll be kind of a trident shape. But yeah, I do think I like the way that that came together. All right, so this video has gone much longer than expected. So what I'm going to do is we're going to call this one here. I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe. And if you want to be kept up to date with what's going on around here, there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Make sure you click it and say everything because YouTube is kind of silly like that. <laughs> if you don't tell it you want it, if you don't tell it you want it all, it's going to basically go okay and ignore it. So um, yeah. 
All right, so throw your feedback. If you, if you like what I'm doing with this nacelle, if you like that look, let me know. Um, like I said, this is a group effort here. I do think I'm going to maybe move that out like another four blocks or so. That gives me a little bit of room to do some skinning back here. But um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Anyway, on that note, we're going to get out of here. I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, we'll see you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, so much more welding to do. I'll probably do the other nacelle like we did for this one. And I'll do it further away from the hole so you guys can see what it's going to look like. That might be a good idea. Hmm. <laughs>